President Trump is pressing Fed Chair Jerome Powell, but the Fed says they are not going to budge. Fed Chair Jay Powell met with President Trump earlier at the White House, his first sit down since Trump's return to office. Powell discussed the economy, but refused to talk rate expectations instead. He stressed the Fed's decisions will rely only on incoming data and not political uh, pressure. Hello, Future. It's me, Kev. This is a dispatch from the digital frontier. It's time to meet the future now with the latest on markets, tech, and freedom. The day is 150. The year is 2025. The planet is Earth. The planet is complete. 41.1% of its global uh, it's global. It's annual orbit around the sun star heading up to Wall Street, back to Wall Street, rather. Global markets surge, then stall after U.S. tariffs blocked. A court ruling against Trump's sweeping tariffs sparked a global rally, but the excitement faded fast as investors questioned what's next. The ruling, the U.S. Court of International Trade said Trump overstepped with his global tariffs, ruling the 1977 emergency powers law doesn't authorize such moves. The comeback cold after a 2% pop in Asia gains lost steam in the U.S. The S&P 500 closed up 0.4%. The Dow added 117 points and the Nasdaq rose 0.4%. Here's what's happening in our neck of the galaxy. Planet 9, try planet maybe. A new dwarf planet, 2017 OF201, has been discovered in the far reaches of our solar system, but it might just poke holes in the long-hyped planet 9 theory. The find. Spotted by a trio of U.S. researchers digging through old data sets, OF201 is 430 miles wide and it orbits the sun once every 25,000 years. It swings out 1,600 times further than the Earth, which is deep into the Oort cloud. So Planet Nine in trouble. Its orbit doesn't match the weird clustering that originally hinted at a hidden giant planet beyond Neptune. Some astronomers say this weakens the Planet Nine case. Others say it's too early to rule anything out. Bottom line, we still don't know what the heck is out there.